Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, at my last video, I was at the Woodshire farm, or what I'm calling the Shire, and uh, here today I'm back at the California farm just for one day before I fly over to Europe and continue uh, getting the uh, Felsburn farm in action. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to stop here. Feels good, kind of like coming home. And uh, I'm just going to drive down to uh, the planter and also swing by what I was working on in my last, or in a couple videos ago. Uh, hold on. Let me feed the dog. <laughs> Give him some pets. Okay. So, in the last video, uh, a tree came down. Uh, across the road, down by my, uh, what I call my wood shop, or just where I store some forestry equipment. So I'll drive down there real quick. Um, got some equipment sitting down there. Uh, yeah, it's a nice day. Um, but yeah, so fields, yeah, the canola's looking great. Um, but yeah, so I just want to do some small fields. Um, not going to be here for very long, like I said, I'm going to Europe, because um, that farm needs some attention <laughs> between all the ones I'm rotating between um, Wisconsin and uh, recently the Shire, and now um, you get the California farm, which is actually, things are going fine right here at the moment, um, just planting uh, here, which I've got uh, plenty of time to do still, but uh, yep, there's, I'm going to be hopping that in a minute. I uh, just want to head down here, check on the wood, wood, uh, processing scene. For some reason the, uh, chipper was not ingesting the logs. Um, so, and, you know, they're like pretty small. So I'm just going to stop over here. Had to get uh, quite a few different pieces of equipment out uh, of the little mess that was uh, a couple videos ago. Um, you know, moving branches and then the log pieces and everything. So managed to get a couple shredded, but um, that didn't generate any pile of sawdust. So I'm a little confused as to what's going on. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just have the. Uh, uh, 4240 hooked um, to tow this beast of a shredder if it's going to work properly or not. Uh, this thing is absolutely lifesaver um, with the crane arm uh, and the strap hooks. Uh, really came in handy. So I think there's a couple pieces of wood log in the bed there. But yeah, just a side project. Um, I was blocking the entire road. So I've got uh, there's the remainder of the tree and then the branches over there, of course. But Anyway, yeah, just a side project a couple of videos ago. Uh, no dialogue. I didn't feel like talking in that one. <laughs> um, and this thing was acting weird, too. That it wasn't getting any traction uh, with these treads. So I don't know if that's a mod conflict. It was, you know, spinning out in the grass pretty hard. So that was a little annoying. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to deal with all that later. Oh, look at that. Check that out. <laughs> Oh, okay, I thought he was walking. Birds do goofy things. He's walking vertically down the side of the building. Yeah, my little wooded area back here um, for future future date projects. But yeah, I think I had probably 12 or 16 cars backed up. And it's kind of funny now because now they're all traveling kind of in a pack because they don't really separate so <laughs> anyway head back up here and just really small fields so um and yeah it's um just kind of being a goober and you know not really focused on quality just you know good stuff on the ground like canola 
uh, which I harvest for biodiesel. So I'm not trying to go for total beauty. Okay. So I forget actually what, what did I plant down here? Oh, okay. Sunflowers. Oops. Pistol. Okay, yeah, sunflowers, but I think I switched to canola, didn't I? Some kind of, oh, okay, yeah, it's canola, yeah. So, weird issues with the GPS system, and, uh, and by weird issues, I mean user error, of course. Um, it, and I've used GPS before in this field, so I don't know what was happening, but anyway. Uh, it didn't plant directly on the edge like I wanted it to, and it should have done. And then it left this gap for some reason. This was like coming back directly in the same direction or opposite direction. So I left this gap in between the planting path. I don't, I don't know. User error, of course. I mean, there was a couple of videos ago now and I'm, the more I use the GPS system, the better I get. So, uh, it's not rocket science either, but <laughs> it's just like every once in a while, just these weird issues, like mods do weird things or, um, it is a, sim after all but anyway uh 7310r here one of my favorite pieces of equipment um and yeah just love the way this thing sounds too so let's hop in i love how that screen boots up really cool looking um so i'm gonna go ahead and fold it real quick if it will fold there we go. Uh, oh, I have it set to oot. Or maybe, maybe it did that by itself. Sometimes it changes things on me. Uh, let's see, whatever we feel like planting. Just thinking as I scroll through here. What did I plant? Uh, what did I, I used the 9520 to plant. A big field, the big field over there. I think it was canola again. Oh no, it was wheat. Excuse me, it was wheat. Okay. So I'm looking forward to that wheat harvest. Um, yeah, I like to do the smaller fields with just different crops, just to experiment and have a little bit of everything. But uh, the bigger fields, of course, try to stay focused on one crop. Um, so this one, this one's kind of a different field, and I don't think I'm going to use GPS on this one. There's that little island or peninsula, whatever, that juts through there. Um, I do really like the field, this field in oilseed radish, but, um, you know, I always plant that as a cover crop anyway, so. Let's see, so, I don't have the equipment for cotton or sugar beets or anything, and, um, could do barley. Let's plant barley. And I'm just going to go manual. I don't think the GPS system is going to be able to help me out much here. Uh, given that it only really wants to plant in straight lines. So, let's see what it does actually real quick. Yeah, load a track. Um, which I, I just won't mess with it right now. So, seed is set. Speed is set. Seed and speed, I like to say. Uh, we'll get our marker tool out and get into it. Okay, uh, <laughs> at least we got the, the guidance line. Give us some kind of straight edge, straight line, I mean. So, yeah, I might not even. Uh, do the soul field. See how long this takes. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to Felsbrunn. Um, yeah, the biggest field is in wheat. And I'm just kind of playing around. And yeah, I choose to personally leave a, I leave a healthy gap of, uh, there of the field edges.
Oh, okay. Then. Oh, but hold on. There was something going on. <laughs> I just remember there was something going on with this uh, not lining up correctly. I think. Or was the other planner? Oh, the trike. That's right. Yeah, so the marking wheel on the planter that's currently hooked to the trike, um, it wasn't actually center, which is strange. It's supposed to be center, so you can follow it. Yeah, see we're right on the right on the edge there. Probably a little bit overlap, but yeah, this this one's working correctly. This is one of my favorite planters, the uh, Great Plains. Uh, one of the mods that can plant direct into a field without cultivating or tilling and can uh, plant over cover crop or into cover crop I should say so really nice planter happy I found it so I prefer no till no tilling uh, for the crops I plant anyway So I don't think I've done barley before, um, so that'll be something different. I mentioned I might try cotton and sugar beets and stuff like that, um, but it's pretty intensive, especially with the size of the equipment and all that stuff. Just trying to think what other things I could do while I'm here, California farm. I am looking forward to harvesting canola actually now that I think of it. Um, not quite ready yet, but that'll definitely be, uh, yeah, that'll be enjoyable. I'll have to check the seasons to see when it is uh, suggesting to harvest. that as I come around for this next row. Actually, I don't think I... Uh, well, yeah, I'll use enough oil again. Alright. Let's check on that. <laughs> if I can keep it straight for a second. Let's see, when are we saying harvest? Oh, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Not for a while. It'll be, uh, it'll be a while until I harvest canola. I'm going to raise that mark wheel up in a second. And I'm just gonna finish this off at an angle.
I'm gonna just leave that, uh, yeah, the little patch of oil seed radish there. And, uh, yeah, that's fine. Fill in this gap here. <laughs> Pretty goofy, but yeah, that's, yeah. One day I'll figure out how to uh, efficiently plant all these different fields, but not too concerned about it. Not hyper hyper focused on yield. Just more do it uh, just to try things out. I'm going to check this real quick. Um, let's see. Yeah, at least, at least we're, uh, fields fertilized. It's a good thing. I think our pH is pretty decent in this field, too. So Eventually that'll be a day of liming everything and putting down more uh, solid fertilizer.
Back and forth we go. A couple more passes, I think. Uh, shoot, just occurred to me. <laughs> Eventually I want to try adding fertilizer when I plant. Um, of course now, uh, I don't need it in this field, but, um, yeah, I don't need it in this field, actually. But one of the farms, maybe Felsburn, I do have that, yeah. I do want to try that. What am I doing here? Oh. Go ahead and turn off the GPS, just uh, not really doing anything for us. And it's not right about there. Attack it from this angle here, if I can get it to turn around. Without driving over my seed bed. That's about a good place to start. What's that? Oh, <laughs> that's a little mound there. Okay. We'll call this the last pass. And yeah, right on. One more field planted. Sure, it gets a little bit old going back and forth, but um, it'll be worth it. Uh, you know, once coming back into harvest, harvest is always one of the most fun things. Running the combine, moving the crop around, and with all the different trucks and tractors and wagons and things, and filling up those grain bins. So it'll be worth it in the end. Um, that's why uh, rotate between different farms, different scenery, different equipment and uh, different crops, of course. Cool. All done. So yeah. I've got uh, barley, wheat, canola. Um, what else? Oh yeah, sunflower, a little bit of sunflower, but uh, yeah, that's good, good to go, go ahead and move this up the hill, park it, park it at the other barn. Yeah, my car's out there too, isn't it? <laughs> go pick that up at some point. Alrighty. Thanks for sticking around and planting with me, if you're still here. <laughs> I'll probably be the only one to end up watch watching this anyway.
luckily no one ever uses this road, so... Except me, of course. I don't need to think I... Okay, whoa, <laughs> watch my words. Don't think I need to park this in the uh, undercover. I think that actually this is where they're going to be like. Oh yeah, got a couple days of sun. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Leave this sit out. Um, maybe I'll wash it, I don't know. I don't think it really needs it. Oops, oop, just hit my, yep. <laughs> just hit my little uh, sprayer back there. That actually got my heart up, heart rate up. <laughs> yeah, just rubber tire contact. Not too dirty. Oops. The invisible hose. <laughs> Alrighty. Power this down. And call that done. Love the sound of that. Okay. This thing definitely needs a bath. Freaking dirty, uh, <laughs> dirty pickup truck here. Yeah, there's probably seed in there too. So you don't have the. Oh, okay. Let me just pull this around real quick while I'm thinking about it. That's a little better.
training. Well, I think that's it for this video. Uh, like I said, not spending too much time here at California Farm, uh, rotating to uh, Felsbrunn. And yeah, I think what do we have left? I mean, number seven, it's kind of a quirky field. Uh, I might come back later and do something with that. 13, of course, has still got uh, the cover crop and that little spot over there. 12, yeah, so um, yeah, a couple fields left to um, get my attention to, but not a priority. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.